The Running Man is based off of a science fiction dystopian short story penned by Stephen King under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. It ended with the main character, who eventually would be portrayed by Schwarzenegger, piloting a helicopter in a kamikaze fashion into the manager of the television show Running Man while it's giving the finger, destroying them both. So how could this film go wrong? Well, they decided they would make a safer Schwarzenegger vehicle with a happier ending, and it has very... I don't want to say dated in a negative, but it's very much a 1980s production. Watching this in high definition, a Blu-ray copy, one really notices the seams. That can make it charming in a way, and it it enforces the film within this set environment wherein everything is happening within the parameters of this kind of American Gladiators-esque arena. The film can be fun just to witness these characters kind of, you know, battling their way around the arena. Though I actually find the dystopian, the, the Schwarzenegger on the run component of the film and them building up this horrifying Orwellian environment, the more interesting aspects of the film the most engaging aspects of the film when watching it I'm thoroughly entertained by the silliness of the later portion of the film just because of its cartoonish extravagance within the live action context the, the not the sheer novelty of that even though it's not as seamless or exciting as say other films I've cited as being good in this respect such as Death Race 2000 Evil Dead 2 uh, Louis Miles Zazi if we want to go there actually or um, what's the other or Raising Arizona is a great example I came out the same year actually 87. Oh, Evil Dead 2, I think is 87 or 86. Anyway, the point is Running Man is more novelty than impressive where, where those mention, uh, the other films I mentioned are concerned and it's not as exciting as some of the other Schwarzenegger films around this era or, or just impressive such as Predator, Terminator or Conan the Barbarian although 90 to 100 minutes in length with no expectations Running Man can be a lot of fun. What can go wrong other than it being a I mean, maybe any film which is a Schwarzenegger action vehicle has a certain ceiling and it doesn't rise to the heights of the previous those aforementioned films. And there's also a rigidity to the sets, one wanting to be engrossed in a film experience in an escapist world that's going to dissipate toward the end of the film, although it does have Schwarzenegger putting the evil head of the, tel the host head of the television show into one of those little rocket vehicles firing it into a target billboard of himself and then saying afterward, well, that hit the spot. Witty. Not as witty as, in my opinion, the greatest Schwarzenegger one-liner of all time, which occurs in the 1986 film Raw Deal. You should not drink and bake. That's a film for another time. Thanks again, my good and dear friends, for suffering through these. No, seriously, I immensely appreciate it if you are viewing. Thanks again.